All right, today's little education piece is about returning to push-ups after a shoulder injury, like I have. Now, most people return straight to a full push-up on the floor, which is too much load, and they end up getting sore. So we've come up with a step-by-step -step way for you guys at home or in the gym to start doing push-ups on incremental angles. So eventually, over a period of weeks, you get to a full push-up, and you've built up that strength along the way, because these things take time. So the first thing you want to work on is almost a vertical push-up. Now that's when you're really entry-level stuff. If you've got your shoulder is improving, it's got strength, but you just haven't done any push-up work, you've done some press work with scapula, maybe you've done some dumbbells, but you actually physically haven't done a push-up, then what I'll do is start against the wall. So what you want to aim for is something that's got, you know, obviously solid wall, something like that, that you can lean on on a bit of an angle. Okay, so from this point here, you can set yourself up and just do a push up into the wall. Now you may think that's really easy, but for people who've had shoulder surgery or shoulder injury, that's actually, you know, reasonably a good way to start and it'll get your form right. So when you've been working on, say, scapular presses and things like that, you can then incorporate into the push up. And remember, from a scapular press, which is one joint moving, as in the scapula, you go to three joints moving, which is scapular, shoulder, and elbow. So it's actually quite complex. If you haven't been doing them for ages, to go back to that to get it right is quite hard. So you don't want load. You want to have no load, get the form right, then add load. So your first one's going to be that. It's going to be shoulder blades first, elbow second, elbows third, shoulder blades fourth. So you get that press up movement correct. Now, that's pretty easy. So the first bit of load, the first step, is to then go on a bit of an angle. Now what I suggest you do is have something that's about one meter high. Now at home, that's going to be your kitchen bench height. All right, so if you've got a sort of island bench or some sort of kitchen bench that you can do a push up on, that's one meter high, that's probably the best thing to start with. It's not too much of an angle. So you go into like a plank position on your toes and work on your push up there. Just be mindful of what your head's going to go into. Okay, so from there, same push up and the angle, come away and push forward. So make sure you're working on a full plank. Make sure your abs are on, your bum, bum's on, everything's solid. Don't sort of go from here and just, you know, do this sort of thing. You've got to go all the way in. So when you drop your shoulder blades, don't sag your bum. Switch that on. The whole body goes in, and then the body keeps going in. Push away and finish. Now, again, with the angle thing, the load's way less than being on the floor. You can still work on your form. So as you're recovering with strength, you're keeping your form right. And we see most people who have problems because their form goes, okay? So they're trying to do things which they can't control. They're trying to go for the strength. They lose the form and then injure themselves. So one meter high would be the first thing. Second thing would be about 70 to 75 mil high. Now that is going to be like a stool like this at home. Well, I'll put two together here. Or it's simply your desk height. So the desk you're working on at home, your office desk, is 700 high. So that would be the right height. So that would be the next step. So you might do a week or half week on the wall, a week doing that, and then the third week, you're down to here. So again, you're on another little bit more of an angle. I can already feel there's a little bit more load there. So from there, you go down into there, and back and return, all right? Get your three, four sets out, that sort of thing. So working on that height. Then the next week, you're finally down to, say, a sofa height. So something like this, where you're going to a sofa height. Okay, so this is where you would probably go down to your knees at this point, all right? So this is where you'll turn. If you can stay on your feet here, or you can go onto your knees and then go to your feet. So it's a big drop in height, you see, okay? So you can either go like, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go from there, then I'm gonna go to my knees and get that right, get confident with that. Once you've done your knees, then you can work on that. Now that's a lot more than that. The drop down here is gonna be a lot more. So make sure you do your knees first before you get to that sort of low sofa height and it's a lot harder here. Now while you're doing this, if you're in the gym, I would probably throw in a bit of stability work amongst us. So if you're going feet here, at that sort of height there, okay, you can also work on here, still on your knees, working on the stability component. All right, so throw in a BOSU at this point to work on pushes like that, all right. Now that sort of load is pretty similar to up in here, 
okay? But there's a stability component, all right? Now, obviously, if you put it on your feet, that's even harder. So the next thing, once you've gone through all those heights, the next thing is you're straight on the floor, okay? So then get to this point, maybe you start on your knees, make sure you just get confident with that, getting, making sure that your, you know, your head and your pelvis are coming down at the same time. You're not sort of, don't fall into the trap where you're going, you know, this sort of thing, all right? Make sure it all comes down and forward, okay? Not down to your hands. And then, of course, straight from there, straight onto all fours into your push-up, all right? Making sure those hands, best rule of thumb, go for your shoulders, go one hand wider, all right? And making sure your elbows are coming out of that 45 degree angle. They're not coming here, and they're not going out there. It's that 45 degree planar movement, which is where that shoulder joint is in that nice scaption plane, all right? So out here, into here, 45 degrees, and out, all right? Now, from there, of course, you want to get technical and start improving stability. You'd go onto the BOSU, okay? So you go full here, full onto the BOSU. You can add a band onto your back, okay? Band around your back for some load, all right? As you're advancing things up, or put a plate on your back. But that would be your little progression just to get to a full push-up once you've had your shoulder injury. See how that goes. See you next time.